Yeah, Vice President for University Relations, Lou Nani. Uh, Lou joins us now here on the second floor of Duncan. Thank you so much for taking the time uh, to schedule uh, out of your schedule to talk to us today. Come on, Terry. Thank you for being here. You're volunteering your time year in and year out with so many else in this community and members of the Notre Dame family that come from afar. We are deeply, deep, deeply grateful, uh, you know, for you lending your talent and your time with us. Well, Lou, that's why you have your job. You make, <laughs> you make people feel good about themselves and feel good about giving, right? But it's genuine. I mean, it's well, genuine. I mean, you're, you're, you're the sharing of... We're taught as Catholics, right, to share our time, talent, and resources, and, and we, we appreciate how you keep giving back to Notre Dame. Well, as long as you're here, Lou, I'll keep coming out, okay? <laughs> okay, great. Uh, what does Notre Dame Day mean to you? And beyond that, what does it mean to you think the students of Notre Dame? That's a great question. You know, to me, it's the most fun two days of the year. It really is, I mean, because uh, the storytelling. Uh, every year, and I've been at Notre Dame now for 23 years, believe it or not. I'm one of the gray beards at this place. But when you look at the breadth and depth of stories of people doing good in this world, how they are leavened for a world that is deeply in need, whether it's through rare disease research or whether it's going out to, to work on trying to get, you know, rid this community of a lead-based paint or whether it's sharing the gift of song, whatever it is, it's, it's just so energizing and it buoys your spirits and it gives you the energy to go out and do so much work. And for our students, Notre Dame Day... And the time that we are together provides more resources for their clubs and organizations than any other single source throughout the year. Lou, what type of impact do you think this has on the current students here when they get involved in this and realize, I can be one of the people they do a story about? Not that they're doing it for self-aggrandizement, but, they're, but, but they want to contribute to society, they want to make this world a better place. You know, I was talking uh, to some of the people that have been on the program already, uh, the, the two students who, you know, in the snowstorm stopped by the road when the father and, and daughter, their car rolled over. In the middle of the storm, they went in and basically rescued them and took care of them, called the ambulance and everything else. And they're so shy, they don't even want to share that story. But I said, it's so important for you to share your story because you, while you don't realize it, it inspires every one of us and makes us ask the question, in a sudden moment of need, do I have the courage to do the same? And, and it's, those kind of, it's that ripple effect that really inspires us all. I met with some of the civil engineering students that upon graduation, eight of them are flying to a remote part of Bolivia where they're going to build a footbridge for a community so that those mothers and children can make it to access school and health care and food and everything else. It just, their stories... When there's so much need and trouble and ugliness in our world, their stories are what instill hope in so many of us, and that's what's so invigorating. And this is Notre Dame Day, but talk about how Notre Dame Day has attracted people and organizations from outside the university's orbit and saying, hey, we want to, part, we, we want to be a part of this. We want to help you make the world a better place. Absolutely. So we're, we're really blessed, Terry, and to have in our founding DNA a president, Father Edward Soren, a founder at age 28, who said that not only is this going to become one of the great universities in the land someday, but more importantly, one of the most powerful forces for good in all of society. If we are true to that mission, people from everywhere will rally up and be a part of that force for good. And that's what's happening People who maybe don't care specifically about Notre Dame, but want to use Notre Dame as a conduit through which they can impact real-world problems all aboard. And, and I know you've probably, gonna, you've probably touched on this already, but you have graduation, you have the first football game, but you say Notre Dame Day is your favorite day of the year. What makes it so special, even above some of the things that we all really hold in high esteem? You know, it's, uh, it's a sacred mission to be a part of this place. You know this in, innately. And, you know, you need these reminders along the way because, uh, like anything, it can be a grind at times. And, and you come and you just spend some time here. You just watch this broadcast. And, and you see all of the people that are rising up to make sacrifices, whether it's a $5 gift or $10 gift. Do you know that last year gifts of $200 or less accounted for 42 full rides for the neediest Notre Dame students. So anybody who tells you that at a big place like Notre Dame, 
a gift of $100 or $200 doesn't matter, try looking into the eyes of one of those 42 students who are here because of those gifts. It's that kind of selflessness and sacrifice that inspires you and makes you ask the question, how can I give a little bit more? How can I be better? How can I be more tender, strong, and true in the way that I lead my life? And every year, Notre Dame Day is bringing more people into the fold exacting this very mission. Absolutely. We think that we're on track right now to break the record number of donors this year. Uh, we've already broken uh, the number of dollars raised, and uh, we still got a lot of work to do between now and midnight, so we're not counting any chickens before they're hatched <laughs> here, but, but, uh, but we're going to push really hard, and, 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 and it's what we do with those resources to make a difference in this world. Uh, that's, that's really what it's all about. Lou, always good to see you, my friend. Thank you for your contributions to Notre Dame, our mother. And I love living right in your neighborhood. So thanks for being a good neighbor. You bet.